So uh, Leo Strauss was a counter-revolutionary in that he led um, the, the assault on behaviorism in the academy. Now, what does that mean? It means that um, political science, so-called, which rose under the concept of uh, political theory, uh, uh, studying how man ought to behave in a political environment, uh, had been taken off over by uh, the behaviorists who said, you know, we don't need to study this anymore. Uh, we, um, we need to study how man does behave because only once we learn how man does behave in a political environment, then can we begin to shape him and make society better, which is what contemporary liberalism is all about today. So uh, Strauss said, you know, we, we need to get back to the ought here. And so he led the, the move back to, uh, in, into, into taking on the, the behaviorist departments. Now, for a while, that battle succeeded. Uh, and um, you walked onto a campus, and even now, if you walk onto a campus and say you're a Straussian, you have immediately identified yourself uh, as, as to what you believe and where you stand relative to these uh, academic um, departments. Now, uh, behaviorism has continued to gain. Behaviorism essentially, is essentially political sociology. And uh, it's, it's no longer a science. Uh, there are too many variables when you're studying the human being to be uh, really a, a science. And we're talking more about feelings. And um, uh, so Strauss was this revolutionary figure who said that uh, we need to get back to the study of ancients and moderns, the studies of the traditional study of the traditional philosophers. And I spent two years with him um, in close study, close textual analysis of uh, the ancient, primarily the ancients, but some semi-moderns such as Machiavelli and Vico and Spinoza. Uh, Maimonides, um, but more um, Plato, more Aristotle, uh, 